Yeah, they just made it down the Palmetto. They're doubling back. They're heading towards us. They're seeing us turning around. Only on CBS 2, the LAPD breaks up a flash mob trying to take over a section of downtown. We're the only ones along for this ride. So that call, it went out on social media for people to pick up an e-scooter for a takeover. Well, the cops, they weren't having it. CBS 2's Christy Farhardo live with exclusive access to this crackdown. And what a story. I didn't realize this was even a thing. It is, and apparently not just in L.A., but other cities as well. And we should mention the scooter riders we spoke to insist it was just a meetup, not a takeover. But the LAPD says social media posts say otherwise, and they were ready with new technology to divide and dwindle the pack. And our cameras were rolling. A takeover boy. became a takedown. <laughs> and only we were along for the ride. Copy, got a group of about 100 now. This, this was a scene morning. overnight as the LAPD and CHP corralled riders Life's great. Here you go. and stopped scooters from working to prevent a flash mob from forming. You saw the crowd, bro. It's a bunch of just hipster kids. I know, but when they start breaking the law, we got to do our job, man. What's, what's really the, like the law breaking here now? Being on the sidewalk? There was plenty of that, and this is against the law, too. But the LAPD believes... We're on the freeway right now. This was the real plan. Riders flooded a freeway in San Jose. And social media posts suggest people were coming in from around the state to make the 101 next on the list. When their activity turns into unlawful behavior, illegal behavior, we're going to take enforcement action. Sergeant Jesse Garcia says one of his officers sure had an idea. They can't share the details or the technology. The scooter companies joined in, unsure if it would work. But take a look. Hello, how's your scooters doing? When the alleged mob started gathering, many found themselves pushing, carrying, or abandoning scooters that shut down. I mean, it doesn't seem kind of fair. I mean, we're paying money to ride the scooter. The tech overall did work. Um, obviously, we're going to have to fine tune it a little bit, but overall, this was, this was a win. And the organizer of the alleged flash mob apparently agreed, posting, quote, we lost, cops won today. Some scooters and brands kept working, but the technology helped police manage the crowds. Officers cited riders who broke the law. The rest were urged to keep moving. All right, Christy, thank you for that.